Today we'll be looking at the equation of a line using a graph. The reason why I want to explain graphical illustration is because on my next video I'm going to talk about the equation of a line. We're going to solve problems on the equation of a line. But I think you should understand, you should know the nature of every graph. When you see a graph, you should be able to identify if the gradient is positive or not, if it's either positive or negative, and how to identify the intercept on the graph. So it is very, very important to help in my next video. Now today, we're going to take some questions. This is the graph, my x and y axis. Now I have the origin, which is zero. Now I need you to understand this. Any value on the x axis, value greater than zero is a positive, values less than zero is a negative on the y-axis value greater than zero is a positive values less than zero is a negative values now if we have a line that this is the the, the right top or from the right top the line moves from the right top to the left the, the left bottom you know you can see this line now i can have another line Let's see, look at this. This is y axis, x axis. This moves in opposite direction to that. This moves from the left top to the bottom right. Now, if the line moves from the right top to the bottom left, you have a positive gradient. If it moves from the um, top left to the bottom right, you have a negative gradient. Now, the equation of every line is given by y equals mx plus c, where m is called the gradient or the slope of the line of the line, and c is the intercept along the y-axis. What does it mean along the y axis what do we mean by the intercept along the y axis now if you look at this line this line crosses the graph at two points the first point is on the x axis the second point is on the y axis and now for those who are writing IBCSE and y we don't consider the x intercept we we'll talk more about the y intercept so the point where the line crosses the y-axis is the value c, which is called the intercept. That's what I mean by c is the intercept along the y-axis. The y-axis, c is the intercept along the y-axis. That means that c value is the point where the line crosses the graph on the y-axis. So, so c, c is the intercept. Now, if you look at this graph, now let's assume that this point is p. Now, the, 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 this point is P. At point P, the graph, the, the, the point is on the negative side of Y. So that shows that the intercept here, C, is negative P. Now, if I want to write an equation for this graph using this formula, I already know that my gradient is positive. Why? Because it is moving from the top right to the bottom left so if I want to write an equation for this it will be y equal mx the gradient is positive my intercept is negative so I'm going to do minus p so this is the gradient for the line this is the gradient for that line now let's take a look at the second question now on the second question this is my origin now the line is moving from the top left to the bottom right so for this I have from my equation it means that my slope has to be negative my gradient to be negative now this point let me call this point Q now the, the point where this line crosses the y-axis is on the positive side of y so that shows that my C is actually positive Q I can write positive Q or Q yeah, still the same. Now, if I want to write an equation for this line, 
Now it will be y equals my gradient is positive, so I have mx, then my intercept is positive q plus q. Now let's take another question. This is the line, and then this is x, this is y. Now the line goes this way. Now this is zero, the origin. Now let's call this point point R. Now this point is point R. Now if I want to write an equation for the line using uh, y equals mx plus c. Now my gradient is positive y because the line is moving from the top right to the bottom left. My intercept is negative. That uh, sorry is positive. C is equal to plus q y because the line crosses the y-axis on the positive side of y. So now, if I want to write an equation for this line, it will be y equals mx plus q. I'm going to take another question. Now, number four, I'm going to draw the x and the y-axis. So the x and the y-axis, and this is the origin. Now let's assume the line is coming from the top right passes through the origin down to the bottom left. Now we know that the equation of every line is mx plus c. Now if you look at it, because the line is moving from the top right to the bottom left, we have a positive gradient. Now what about the intercept? The intercept, like I rightly said, is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. Now if you look at this graph, the line crosses the graph on zero, on the origin. It means where x is zero and y is zero. So in this case, x is zero, y is zero. So that shows that the value of c is actually zero because the value of c is actually the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So the, the line crosses the y-axis at point zero. So therefore, if I want to write an equation for this line, it should be y equals mx because we have a positive slope then plus zero so y equals mx so this is the equation of the line now we're going to take one more question and then we'll, we'll end the session now let's say we have x and the y plane this is number 5 x and the y axis this is my origin 0 and the line moves from here down to this place now the equation of every line y equals mx mx plus c now if I want to write if I want to write an equation for this graph because the line moves from the top left to the bottom right I have a negative gradient here already because the line passes through the origin it means that the y-intercept is zero that shows that c is zero so the equation of this line will be y equals negative mx because the gradient is negative the intercept is zero so y equals negative mx so that is all you need to know about the graph. Thanks for watching my video. You can always subscribe on my channel and like my video. Thank you and God bless. Now number four, I'm going to draw the X and the Y axis. This 